Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays, Rose Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing our San Marino challenge on FM22, which is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Simultaneously, we're taking a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions League Glory for the purposes of that part of the challenge. Uh, we're taking over a club called San Marino Calcio, placed in the Italian pyramid, but it's still based in San Marino, and taking them to Champions League Glory. The club actually went to Funkton in 2019. Uh, but it was refounded in this past year, I think, or this for this past season. So you maybe should be able to find them in FM22 uh, in the lower if you have a uh, database of the lower Italian division. So definitely uh, can definitely check that out. Uh, for this universe, uh, we were given a ton of money. We pumped it all into the club. Basically, we were really working on the youth intakes to see if we can get this challenge to even be possible. Um, so basically, trying to skip. Uh, a whole bunch of seasons trying to increase the facilities and the training and all that stuff. Uh, just kind of skipping to the good part, basically. Uh, we already won the Champions League. We won the Champions League with the club uh, last season. Uh, so we're trying to uh, just kind of level out in, uh, our club and just continue pumping out youth. Uh, so working on that. But here we are. We're in Nations League C action. Um, so... Uh, be playing Finland, who is the highest rated nation in our group. Let's see, 73rd. Us, on the other hand, we are 128. And I really feel like, if we look at the group here, that we should be uh, winning this group. Really feel that. Uh, I think we're the most talented team on paper. Uh, so, yeah, it, not winning, winning this group would be a big disappointment, especially since we're aiming to qualify for the World Cup uh, this next cycle. And this would be a good statement uh, to show that we're serious about that. I mean, we were close this last cycle, but you know that having to beat Belgium away is a step too far. Um, so we don't want to be put in that position. We want to be able to take care of business on a bunch of teams below and at least get that secure that second place and be high enough to uh, be comfortably in instead of having to worry about beating a top 10 team to get in. Um, so, uh, like I said, this would be our statement of our intent. We have Finland and Estonia in uh, this international window here. Uh, so, both at home, so we gotta take six here, I think. Uh, we're coming off a win over the Faroe Islands and a 2 2 draw against Estonia. Not acceptable, quite honestly. Uh, unfortunately, the game hates us and still and has uh, scheduled Champions League football during this international break. Uh, so our best right back is tired from having to play in the Champions League uh, two days ago. So uh, he's not going to be able to play. We're going to be bringing in Andrea Fiorini, uh, who is, uh, I mean, he's all right. This is not like he's super terrible, but he hasn't played very much. He's only got two caps. Uh, so we're going to see if this is going to do anything for us here. But this is going to be a good, strong team. Actually, I think I'm going to bring in Gautieri for the Verani here. Uh, so uh, we're going to try and, and put a marker down against Finland because they're the tougher team there. Uh, pretty good side, I think, from what we've seen. We'll take a look at them as we get ready here and set up our uh our um actually rusty should probably be playing here too uh as we set up our uh instruction uh, opposition instructions we'll take a look uh all right uh so golanucci is of course the uh, one of our best physical Specimens here. He's got the jumping reach and the pace and dribbling. Doesn't quite have the passing, but uh, should be fine, I think. Uh, it's been pretty good. He's got four goals and he caps, so that's pretty good. Uh, GRD, of course, our one of our wonder kid. We just sold the leads. Uh, should be uh, time for him to step up here. Uh, Ramos on the left. Uh, oh, he turned 21, so he's no longer a wonder kid. Uh, but he's a winger masquerading as a wing back. So we're going to attack through him, of course, as you would expect. Lopped us over, you're going to play defend. 
that you were not going to attack down your side, even though you're all right attacking. I mean, you can counter trouble. Your crossing sucks, though. Passing and vision. Eh. I mean, you're not terrible, but we don't, we'd rather have you focused on uh, that defense. Got good tackling, good marking. Positioning's not bad. Work rate, eh. But I mean, or a backup, especially for San Marino, that's not bad. Um, yeah, we definitely want to focus on the left. And we'll start out balance to see how this goes. We may have to go a bit more attacking, but we'll deal with that as it comes. Alrighty. Let's sort this out then. Okay. What does he get? Villanen? See, he's not bad. Uh, Jensen. Eh, okay, right. I'm really need to look at their foot in this. Left, left. Left. Right only. Yep. Left. Right, okay. So we're gonna... What well, actually we do it this way? Grab him and do that. So anything to get us any kind of advantage whatsoever, we're gonna do. All right, so like I said, you're good. We're gonna oh, we're gonna press probably the entire midfield. Press, press, press on the right. Mark, press on the left. Okay, makes sense to me. And mark you. Are we, do we need to press you actually? Yeah, pretty good there. We might want to press you too, actually. All right, let's check uh, you. Yeah, we can hit you up a little bit. Probably hit you, actually, too. Actually, this entire attacking midfield is not brave. All right, that should set us up. Uh, for something here. Oh, they want to press this guy too? Press him as he good passer? Pretty good. He's decent, but... Old back. Interesting. But he didn't... Nah, that's on center back. <laughs> pretty good though. Plays for Manchester United, so... He's pretty good. You can see... Well, I mean, this is a... Pretty solid team. Keeper is... Not terrible. So, I was like, they're, they're a decent match to us, actually. Now that I'm really looking at them. Playing at Everton. He is. Not that good. Got a lot of mentals though. Got the, he's got some potential. Forrest Ben, of course, we know a lot about because he played for us for a long time. Pretty good player. He's pretty solid. Playing for Shulka. He's playing the guitar. Yeah, he looks like he's playing the guitar. Trucked. And. Part of Prague, okay. He's slow though, so we should be able to bottle him up. Of course, this guy is playing for Viking. Or is that Viking? Alright. Uh, I'm convinced we can end that run. They're unbeaten in two. Let's see if we can get them going. Gotta have some expectations. Okay. Uh, given Alessandro Luis lack of match fitness, how long can he last out there? Well, he's good enough to center back. We'll deal with it if anything comes up. We are missing one of our center backs uh, to a, a, per, is it a broken foot or something. Actually, I, should, I should probably just change this actually when I'm thinking about it. Right now, uh, I had a ball winner and you play as the deep player and playmaker. Uh, so yeah, Giacomo uh, Berardi is playing out in Sweden, I think. And uh, uh, got injured, and so he's out for a few months, actually. He was a pretty good option as a left-footed center back. Yes, there we go. And a boy. See, uh, what is that all about, match fitness? But it's a pretty big loss because he could play the left wing back, too. It was a good option as a defensive one. So uh, kind of a big loss for us, even though he's not the most talented anymore. But we'll take this as a good start. Uh... Okay, that's your little rambunctious right now. Use off your tackles, man. Nucci. Jardy, pass. Okay. Oh, good little ball. Ah! Okay. 
Okay, we're real well in control of this right now, which is good. I'd like to get another one. Go, Nucci, go up. Oh, come on, man. Go up there and take that. That a boy. <laughs> that a boy, Fiorini. Good ball. We got pace and we got dribbling in our forwards. That. Not good. But yeah, every single one of our forwards are both fast. They got a lot of pace, a lot of acceleration, and are really, really, really good dribblers. They're like 14, 15, 16s. So we'd like to get them into space and let them run. Finishing is not always the best, but they can get open and get lots and lots of opportunities, though. So what kind of way it has to go here. That was a terrible pass, though, out out here. It should have been out here and it was way out here. It's just not good. We... Uh, I do want to shout to Fiorini. Playing okay, but not great. So we're going to give him a little encouragement. We're going to individually try and get him going. And apparently it's not working. Awesome. Dude, you, you're decent in the air too, Giardi. You got a... Got a challenge for that because these guys are not good. We're almost a little there. A little enthusiastic. Oof. Good block there though. Your captain. Uh, Galtieri not doing much either. It's not great. Okay confident but uh, I'm not happy because we need more I'll give you and I have faith because you're upset I mean you're not playing terrible but you're not playing great but there's just too much of this no 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 I mean you're good but you're still happy that we yelled at everyone that's good uh, yeah so every look at that's not good not good so we need more out of everyone right now just a, another goal would really give us a little breathing room and I feel a lot better might have to go to positive actually then to kind of take advantage because are we up in we are not in the position battle right now we're kind of giving the ball a lot but we're, we're creating all the chances we're making much better use of the ball than they are it's very congested right there I thought we'd be playing wider than that Ooh, nice little one Ramos very very congested Scotty ah. uh, I want to see where's our taking with uh, let's go a little wider try to give our players a little bit more space to work in really attacking. It's supposed to be just holding onto the ball in the midfield. Let's take a look. Visualizer here. That's focus of attack. That's not helping me. None of that helps me. I want to see where they are having their position. Cause it seems like we're at oh, Arrow Islands. Wow. Coming up huge. But it really seems like we're getting the better of the there he is, his action zones, okay, so yeah. They are not getting anything in the attacking areas. We are holding the ball mostly in the midfield. Uh, so yeah. Even though they're holding possession, they're not doing anything with it. We're gonna take it up. See if we can take advantage of that. Just about time to make some switches. Galtieri's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to pull him and try to get someone who's actually gonna make plays. Ugh. That's a good opportunity there. Uh, so we're going to move Rusty up. We're going to bring on Berardi. He's going to play the DLP role. 
Rusty's going to go to a box to box roll. He's not a great option <laughs> as a DLP, but he can pass. So he's played very solidly there before. So I feel like that would be good. I mean, I would think about bringing Mattioni, who's not much better, actually. I thought he had better mentals. He's playing at a higher division right now. So I thought maybe improving somebody's not quite yet. But if they're uh, not doing much in possession, then I think we can get away with that. Oh, good opportunity there. Ignore that, ignore that. Okay, Fiorini now is got a yellow card, ain't good. Starting to turn it up a little bit on us, but we're still pretty comfortable. Uh, Cola for Fiorini on now. Uh, you're the left footed, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I was like, eh, yeah, no. I was thinking about maybe bringing you down to the right, but no, that's not a good idea. Cassidy is also left footed out. It's not good. Okay. Uh, bring out Jelly Birthday, maybe. Jelly Birthday, who's not playing terribly. Now let's do that. Actually, I should probably go back to balanced. Man, Feral has scored four on Estonia. Holy, holy cow! I mean, for I mean, they've created stuff. Apparently, they have some high XG. It just is not showing up. It's kind of surprising. It must be not very uh, dangerous in the end. Ugh. that would have been something. There we go, over the top. They're, they're kind of attacking us now. Uh, Golanucci, get into the area. Come on. Okay. No, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not what we wanted. 100% was not what we wanted. Nice tackle, though. I'm surprised Chachi's been so bad. Oh. Alright, that... It's starting to look dangerous for a second. I don't, I don't like that at all. I not like that at all. We're tackle. Nucci didn't win the ball. Gilberti not going to get it, but that's good enough. Okay, that's a comfortable win. I mean, it looked like the stats make it look like they were dangerous, but they really weren't. We probably should have gotten another one in this, but we'll take it. It's a nice, comfortable win. Um... Uh, I'm not happy though, because there was some bad stuff here. I mean, you did okay though. I mean, when that's bad, that's bad. But we're, you know, we're not happy about that kind of stuff. <sighs> Still, not not the worst thing to ever ever happen here. Take the win. Gets us to the top of the group, which is where we belong. Um, let's see here. I'll get into training and review. We'll look at this up in a second. Uh, here we go. Young San Marino side. So you can win with kids. Come up on top against a much more experienced Finland side. Yes, we did. Yep, Paloia got off to a, got off to a start. That's good. Referee had a decent game, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we got a nice little thing here. He's actually out of contract right now because he wants to be, uh, now where do you want to be? Squad player, but he'd take in impact player, but he wants 2 million a year, which is like, uh, no, if you want like a million and a half, I'd give that to you, but yeah, I mean, you'd be playing in the B team and we'd be trying to loan you out. So it's like, I don't know. And no one is going to pay that kind of money. What is your, your reserved and fairly professional? I don't understand what's going on there, but yeah, it's, it's really weird what's going on there. Uh, came off the bench and played all right. 
Berardi, Pirini. But yeah, I was thinking about starting him actually uh, as the right back, but uh, I wanted to have him in case of uh, we need him for this next match because of any tiredness at all, but looks like we're okay there so far. Uh, but yeah, so we got a match the 14th. If we look at the club, the next Champions League match is the 16th. So I don't, it, it's really weird how the game is scheduling things and to wonder that any Italian team is able to get out of <laughs> their group and do anything. But Milan's made it to the semifinal two years in a row. I mean, they lost to us both of you. Actually, I think three years in a row they've they've made it to the semifinal. And they lost to us two of those years. <laughs> I got, I'm curious now. Uh, Champions League. Yeah, see, lost in semifinal, lost in the semifinal. Oh, they lost in the final. Oh, so they've been really... I don't know how they're managing. Are they getting not getting stuck in this international window of playing? I don't know. But it's like not everyone is playing during this international window, but we've always been forced into this for some reason. So we're constantly struggling with uh, internationals in Champions League. But yeah, so uh, so we're doing okay. That's good. Now we got Estonia at home. We got to get a win there. Really take control of the group, hopefully. And then, uh, yeah, then we should be Scott. Nah, maybe not Scott Free, but because we got Finland away still. They, they might have a chance if they take care of business themselves. So, uh but doing okay, so I will be back uh, with another episode very soon for the next match here if we play in Estonia at home, so definitely check that out. If you're yourself and enjoying the videos, please like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff here. I really do appreciate that. Shout out to all the subscribers already. Really appreciate, really, really appreciate that. Uh, there's links in the description of the videos to our Twitch and our Twitter. Definitely check that stuff out. Uh, we do some streaming of other games, just hanging out for a little bit. So definitely come uh, hang on a little bit if you like. I'm not playing this on stream, but just mostly just putting this up for YouTube. So uh, it's fine if you don't want to come out, but you know, it's always fun. So uh, yeah, thanks, thanks again. Really do appreciate it. So stay safe, everyone. Stay good, stay well. And I'll see you next time.